For years, the aging of rural farming communities has been a big issue in Taiwan, and there are constant calls for young people to return to the land. But many of those who answer the call come across the same problems. Technical difficulties, a lack of training, and market barriers. These returning natives often find that enthusiasm alone is not enough. In Yunlin County, though, a farmer training school is giving new farmers a leg up through farming apprenticeships, in which seasoned farmers give new hands the benefit of a lifetime of experience through practical hands-on classes. Our Sunday special report. Most of these students at this farmer training school in Yunlin are over 50 years old. Here they're growing peanuts and sweet potatoes. The crops are ready to harvest and the students are raring to go. Yeah. Yeah. One of the teachers at the school, Wang Han, has been working the fields for decades. The reason he's willing to spend his time teaching here is because he's very sensitive to the problems of Taiwan's rural farming villages. I come to teach farming because I think agricultural knowledge needs to be handed down. Everybody has their own unique experiences, and if those experiences aren't handed down, that legacy will be cut off. Farming is a very broad field. It can accommodate all kinds of students from every different walk of life. The farmer training school emphasizes the apprenticeship system. Every student chooses an expert teacher to follow and goes out to work in the fields under their tutelage. One student, Wu Kunzhou, runs an umbrella factory for his day job. But in the early mornings before the factory opens, he comes out to the fields to study. <laughs> You dig the soil, plant sweet potatoes and corn, and before you know it, you can do something you couldn't do before. You can plant the fields and get rid of the pests. There's another reason the school has introduced apprenticeships. Some young farmers who decide to go back to the land are full of passion but lacking in skills. It's a recipe for disaster. At the moment, with the poor economic climate in the wider environment, some young people want to go back to their rural hometowns. By setting up the farmer training school, we want to start to teach them on the level of basic knowledge and skills. That's the only way to prevent the funds they invest from going to waste. Another teacher at the school, Liang Yulong, specializes in papayas. This term, he has three apprentices. Today, he's teaching the students how to remove some of the flowers from the papaya tree while it's in bloom, so the papaya fruit will grow longer and bigger. Knowledge like this has typically been passed on from the lived experience of a teacher. It's the greatest advantage of the apprenticeship system. Liang's three students vary greatly in age and in background. One of them, 25-year-old Li Yichun, is typical of young farmers who've gone back to the land. After graduating from university, he worked in another sector for two years before deciding to study farming, a choice that provoked an uproar in his family. I think that as a young person going back to the land, there are opportunities but there are also pressures and risks. Because of course, when you go back to the countryside to farm, the first thing you experience is that your stable income is cut off. In a factory, your income is really pretty stable, and you have annual leave and public holidays off. Figures from the Yunlin County Agriculture Department show that 70% of the school's graduates do indeed go on to work in farming. So these apprenticeships can certainly help create more opportunities for new farmers who want to get their foot in the door but there may also be new problems created by the system. If everyone is planting the same crops and doing it really well, how will that work? The issue Li mentions is Taiwanese agriculture's flawed system of production and marketing. Farmers are often exploited by a whole chain of distributors. By helping young people to return to the land and start farming, the government may also be introducing them to a tough life of struggling to make ends meet and being taken advantage of. 
If you encourage young people to return to the land, you must have a whole policy in place for that. You have to get them to the point where they can sell what they produce, and not in Taiwan but overseas. We must export. The training from the government is flawed. Apart from being able to grow crops, knowing how to sell them is also a crucial field of study. Most of all, we hope we farmers can grow good quality produce, and then see whether we can start our own cooperative, or do our own distribution, or create our own brand. With an annual budget of just 2.7 million NT, Yunlin County's Farmer Training School offers an apprenticeship program which allows the next generation of young farmers to inherit the legacy of their elders, turning their wisdom into new dreams for the future of farming in Taiwan. Exactly how far their passion and training will take them remains to be seen.